back to my channel. Today I wanted to do an in-depth review of the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Lip Lipsticks. This is a very unique product. I'm a little bit blown away. I didn't expect much from these. I thought they would just be regular lip pencils, but they're just very different. And that's why I wanted to jump right in to the pros and cons of these. First thing I want to say is that there are only four colors. We have two that are very similar, and I thought that this was unfortunately something that I wasn't the biggest fan of. Uh, number 11 is a pinky nude, and then number 10 is more of a peachy nude. Very, very similar in color, which is surprising because that there's only four shades. Now the next one, number 40, is a cherry pinkish red. It's a very interesting bright color. Number 50 is like a deep burgundy red. It's one of those perfect holiday red lip colors. So the color range was a little bit too small for me. I thought they were all a little too close in terms of what colors I would wear when. So that's why I was a little surprised by the range. Now I'm wearing shade 11 on my lips right now, the pinky color. Um, I love how you can roll this out. It is my biggest pet peeve when products have to be sharpened. You all know this if you read my blog. I hate sharpening anything. I really love this twisty element to it. The only time the twisty element fails is if this entire thing just flies out and the pencil is broken. Then it's just a fail. But the twisty part for the most part, the twisty part for the most part, but the twisty part of this is awesome. I love it. Now, the way that they've actually formulated this application makes it super, super easy for you to apply on the lips in perfect formation, and then it also makes it very, very easy to overline your lips in a very natural way. Normally when I'm using a liquid lipstick, the Dofa applicator has a very small tip, and so you have to be very precise when you're getting outside your lip line. This just makes it very natural, very easy. This literally just glides and makes my lips look plumper without me even trying to aggressively try to overline my lips. So I really, really like the way that they formulated the actual lip pencil part of this. Now the double effect is really cool because if you watched my beauty hacks video recently, you know that you want to add a little bit of highlight to the lips in order to make them a bit plumper. Now Makeup Forever is way ahead of it with this. The other side of this is a highlight. So what you do, it's kind of like a squishy, it looks almost like those weird eyeshadow applicators that Maybelline and L'Oreal put in with their eyeshadows, but it's the same type of it's the same type of material, but it's very spongy. So what you do with this is you apply this in the very center of your top and lower lip, and you want to roll this in a circular motion because it's going to give you that plumper effect if it's in the middle of your lips. So I'll give you a quick example, and each of these has its own highlighter. Well, don't do that. I really, really like that highlighter effect because then I have the highlight with me. I don't need to bring another highlighter that I like to plump up my lips with. Makeup Forever, way ahead of the game with this new idea of having the highlight on the other side. So major kudos to them for that. Now in terms of longevity, these are extremely long lasting. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I basically did a try on with these and I wore them for the entire day and the results were amazing. I still had all the lip color on my lips by about 7 p.m. at night and I started my day really early the day that I actually snapped. So I do a lot of these little product trials on Snapchat. So if you want to go and check out the latest and greatest that I'm trying, make sure to follow me on the Snapchats. The next thing I will say is that they are not overly drying. It is my biggest pet peeve. While I love MAC lipsticks, they are so drying. I literally put it on my lips and I feel like I've ran through the desert. Like I ran five miles in the desert and my lips are gonna fall off my face. But these do not make me feel that uncomfortable, annoying, just dry feeling. They really aren't as drying as you'd expect them to be. Now when I apply them, they are very creamy. And that's why the long lasting and the creamy effect don't really make sense to me because usually when a product is creamy, 
it's typically going to come off pretty quickly, but what this does is you have multiple layers of the product on your lips. The creamy part will come off when you're drinking or eating or you know doing anything with your lips. You'll see it on your cup, you'll see the lipstick, but the stain of it stays forever. It's like no matter what I did, and I ate some really oily, slippy food the day that I was trying this out, it was perfectly still intact, so it's long-lasting, it's not drying, it applies like a dream. Um, I really like this highlighter effect. The one thing I will say is that the color range, like I mentioned, not as diverse as I would have liked to see it, and these are a little bit expensive. Each of these is $27. You are technically getting two things. You're getting the lip product, and then you're also getting the highlight, so that justifies the cost a little bit in my mind, but this is much more on the pricier side. I think most people are used to spending around $15 to $20 max for a lip product, and if you like more drugstore products, you're used to spending less than 10 so this is definitely more on the pricey side and I think it is an incredible product I'm surprised I haven't heard more people talking about these yet but I'm sure this is just one of those things that is yet to be discovered but I really really enjoy these I cannot recommend them enough now I want to show you the swatches of each of these colors because they are gorgeous <music> guys I hope you liked it I hope you are intrigued and think that you may pick this up let me know if you do let me know what color you liked the best and if you have any questions for me make sure to leave them down in the comments below I will link these down in my description box so always click that show more button so you can see all of the details of everything I've discussed or mentioned or worn in my videos but I will see you in the next one bye